This is a map of Ukraine which Russia is currently invading. But even with the size of this country, it will not allow Russia to seize its territory so easily. Watch and find out how Ukraine has been able to stop Russian troops from advancing any further in its domain. Ukraine employs a combined arms strategy against Russia. Their battalion tactical group was created to be quick and versatile while carrying significant firepower. Each battalion tactical group comprises 10 main battle tanks, 33 infantry vehicles, 18 self-propelled artillery guns, 6 multiple rocket launchers, 12 mobile services to aircraft, and various support unit configurations. This allowed Ukraine to quickly respond to any changes on the battlefield and maintain a strong presence even in the face of Russian opposition. Thanks to these game-changing tactics and weapons, Ukraine was able to gain an advantage over Russia. The battalion tactical group's structure allows it to shift from rapid assault to support operations and long-range attacks, although its lack of human resources is a significant disadvantage. Each group only comprises roughly 200 foot soldiers, which isn't nearly enough to safeguard the flanks of such a huge force. However, when confronted with NATO troops, that wouldn't necessarily be a problem since both sides would engage in conventional tactics. That's how the Russian combined arms units were trained to fight against similarly positioned NATO combined arms components. Ukraine has been at odds with Russia ever since the country gained independence in 1991. In 2014, Russia annexed Crimea, and Ukraine has been fighting a war against Russia in the country's east. And now that Russia is in the full force of trying to invade Ukraine, they have made it difficult for Russia to do so. FGM-148 Javelin one of Ukraine's weapons in this conflict is the FGM-148 Javelin, an anti-tank missile system. The Javelin is designed to be used against tanks and other armored vehicles and can be fired from a distance of up to 2.5 miles away. The FGM-148 Javelin is an American anti-tank missile. It is a fire-and-forget weapon, meaning that once it is launched, the operator does not need to guide it. It was first introduced in 1996 and entered service with the United States Army in 1997. Lockheed Martin and Raytheon produced it. The FGM-148 Javelin can be fired from either the ground or from a vehicle. It has a maximum range of 2,500 meters and can be used against both armored and non-armored targets. It also uses an infrared seeker to lock onto its target. Once it hits the target, the Javelin's warhead will detonate, piercing the vehicle's armor and causing it to explode. This missile firing weapon is considered one of the most effective anti-tank weapons in the world and has been exported to many countries. In 2017, Ukraine received a shipment of javelins from the United States as part of a military aid package. Since then, Ukraine has used them to ambush Russian convoys on the major roads running through the country. The javelins have been effective in destroying Russian tanks and other armored vehicles. They have helped Ukraine slow down the advance of the Russian troops. However, they are also very expensive, costing over $100,000 each. Given the high cost of javelins, Ukraine can only afford to use them sparingly. But when they are used, they can be very effective in slowing down the Russian advance. N-Law N-Laws, or next-generation light anti-tank weapons, have become the backbone of Ukraine's light infantry. These powerful weapons can take out even the most heavily armored tanks, making them a formidable force on the battlefield. The United States military first developed N-Laws, but Ukraine has since obtained a license to produce them domestically. These anti-tank weapons work by firing a high-explosive anti-tank round, or heat round, at a target. The round then penetrates the tank's armor and detonates, destroying the vehicle from the inside. These are particularly effective against Russian tanks, which are notoriously well-armored. In addition to being used against tanks, N-Laws can also be employed against other targets, such as bunkers or buildings. This makes them a versatile and dangerous weapon in the hands of Ukrainian troops. N-Laws have already been used extensively in combat operations against Russian-backed separatists in eastern Ukraine, and with great success. 
This makes them a versatile tool in the Ukrainian arsenal, and one that is sure to strike fear into the hearts of their enemies. With NLAWS, the Ukrainian army is better equipped to take on what Russia throws their way. Given their effectiveness against armored targets, NLAWS are likely to play a critical role in this conflict against Russia. Are you enjoying this video so far? Well, don't forget to click that subscribe button below. Subscribe to Techno Global Innovation now. Bayraktar TB2 Bayraktar TB2 is a Turkish made attack drone that has been supplied to the Ukrainian military. Ukrainian forces have recently used it to sink two Russian Raptor boats near the Black Sea. The drone is operated by a two-person crew and can stay in the air for up to 24 hours. It carries a payload of up to 12 kilograms, including four laser-guided missiles. The drone also has a mapping pod that is used for tactical reconnaissance. It has proved effective against Russian air defense systems, including the S-400 missile system. In November 2018, this same drone was used to destroy a Russian-made T-72 tank in the Donbas region. The Bayraktar TB-2 has played a significant role in the Ukrainian military's fight against Russian-backed separatists. The drone has helped Ukrainian forces to gain the upper hand in the conflict and has inflicted heavy losses on the Russian army. This drone has a max flight time of 24 hours and a range of 150 kilometers. It can reach altitudes of up to 7,000 meters and speeds of up to 250 kilometers an hour. It is equipped with six hard points that can carry a variety of weapons, including anti-tank missiles, air-to-air -air missiles, and bombs. This weapon was first developed by Baikar Makina, a Turkish company specializing in the development of unmanned aerial vehicles, or UAVs. The drone is named after Baikar Makina's founder and CEO, Selçuk Bayraktar. It made its maiden flight in September 2014. In 2015, Baikar Makina entered into a partnership with Ukraine's state-owned defense company, Ukrobronprom, to jointly produce the Bayraktar TB2 drone. Baikar Makina has also signed agreements with Qatar and Saudi Arabia to sell the Bayraktar TB2. The Bayraktar TB2 has been described as a game-changer in the conflict in Ukraine. The Ukrainian military has used the drone in their fight against Russian-backed separatists. In particular, the Bayraktar TB2 has been used to target enemy tanks, artillery, and other armored vehicles. The drone's ability to stay in the air for extended periods of time and cover large distances has made it invaluable for the Ukrainian forces. The Bayraktar TB2 has also been used for surveying purposes and has helped the Ukrainian military map out enemy positions and movements. As a weapon for war, it is not without its critics. Some have raised concerns about the drone's potential to be used for targeted killings. In particular, human rights groups have criticized the use of the Bayraktar TB2 in Turkey's fight against Kurdish rebels in southeastern Turkey. Baikar Makina has denied these allegations, saying that the Bayraktar TB2 is only used for mapping and surveillance purposes. The cost of one drone is estimated at around $3 million. However, this price can vary depending on the specific configuration of the drone. For example, a Bayraktar TB2 equipped with mapping pods and other advanced features will likely cost more than a basic model. The Bayraktar TB2 has proved to be a valuable asset for the Ukrainian military and is likely to continue to play a vital role in the conflict in Ukraine. With its long flight time, extensive range, and ability to carry a variety of weapons, the Bayraktar TB2 is well suited for both probing and combat missions. The drone's success in Ukraine is likely to increase interest from other countries looking to purchase Baikar Makina's products. The FIM-92 Stinger The FIM-92 Stinger is a man-portable air defense system, or MANPADS, used by the Ukrainian Air Defense Force. It is a shoulder-fired missile that uses infrared homing to track and engage aircraft. The Stinger was developed in the United States in the 1970s and entered service in 1981. 
It has since been exported to over 40 countries. The Stinger is considered to be one of the most effective man pad systems in the world. It has been used in combat to down over 800 aircraft, including fixed wing and rotary wing aircraft, drones, and missiles. The Stinger's effectiveness was demonstrated during the Soviet-Afghan War when Mujahideen fighters used it to down over 200 Soviet aircraft. It is a ground-to-air missile, meaning it is designed to be fired from the ground at aircraft. It can be deployed from various platforms, including vehicles, helicopters, ships, and portable launchers. The Stinger's main advantages are its portability and ability to engage multiple targets simultaneously. It is also a highly accurate weapon. It has over 90% accuracy in hitting its target. The FIM-92 Stinger is not without its drawbacks, however. One significant drawback is its cost. At $38,000 to $50,000 per missile, the Stinger is one of the most expensive man pad systems in the market. Another drawback is that it requires frequent maintenance and repairs. In fact, each missile can only be used once before it must be sent back to the factory for refurbishment. Despite its drawbacks, the FIM-92 Stinger is a widely used and effective air defense weapon. It has been successfully used in combat against various targets and its portability makes it an ideal weapon for use in mobile air defense systems. The FIM-92 Stinger is a shoulder-launched anti-aircraft missile used by the Ukrainian Air Defense Force. It is effective against both fixed-wing aircraft and helicopters and can be used in air-to-air -air and ground-to-air applications. The Stinger has a maximum range of about 5 kilometers and can reach speeds up to Mach 2.5. It is equipped with an infrared homing seeker that enables it to track and engage targets even in low visibility conditions. Switchblade Kamikaze Drone Switchblade Kamikaze drones are one type of air defense system. Switchblade drones are small, unmanned aircraft that can be armed with explosives. When a switchblade drone detects an enemy target, it can be programmed to fly into the target and detonate, destroying the target. It's quoted to be a one-and-done drone, according to its maker, Wahid Nawabi. Unlike armored drones that launch weapons beneath their wings and return to base, the Switchblade Kamikaze drone carries its warhead and self-destructs, blowing up tanks, armored vehicles, and artillery bunkers with it. It fits inside this tube. At the bottom, we have what's known as a gas generator. It propels the Switchblade out of the way. The wings automatically flip up once it's clear of the tube, and it happens very fast, similar to how a switchblade works. It has camera scanners in the nose and sends a live feed to its controller. Once it has determined the target, the operator may dive bomb into it and exterminate it. It's a one-way journey. The drone is very quiet and difficult to spot in the air. These drones are said to be on their way to Ukraine from the US to aid the Ukrainian troops in getting back their home and fighting back against the Russians. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to watch more of our other videos by subscribing to this channel.